Hi, my name is Tushita Menon. I did the Cambridge A-Level course here at MCKL. I was from the 1701 S2 cohort, the science cohort, and I took chemistry, biology, physics, and maths, and I'm currently doing the medicine program at Monash University. MCKL was acting quite a given for me because I realised that MCKL is very comprehensive in the sense that they have a lot of partnerships with different universities. I think it is the top university school in Malaysia. So I had heard feedback from my seniors regarding the A-level course here and how the teaching approach was different from other colleges. It suited me personally so I feel like it actually guided me towards realising that I wanted to do medicine which is a good thing. That's definitely why I chose MCKL and also I had certain friends who were going here through I wanted a good support system around me because I knew A-levels would be grueling. So that's actually why I chose MCKL. So I participated in the Economics Club and the Road Track Club. I think I was a member for both of those clubs for about a semester. Then I progressed to Treasurer of the Economics Club and Vice President of the Road Track Club. I wanted to experience the economic side as well because I realised that I lacked a lot of knowledge in that aspect. I joined the economics club as something outside of the sciences that I could actually delve into and learn more about. I joined the road track club because I really enjoyed the community service program that MCKL offered and I wanted another avenue to do something more besides my studies. So we did have a fundraising project, I think it was to raise awareness about um, refugees, if I'm not mistaken. So we did a painting, a mural actually at MCKL here. I think it wasn't completed that well, but the aim was fulfilled. So we did carry out like a National Kindness Day project and I think a Zero Discrimination Day as well. That was what the theme was. Because I'm a, I'm a person who really needs extracurricular activities as a way to de-stress from all the academic side of it. I think it played a part mostly in the entry because one of the interview questions that were posed to me was how do you think you would maintain a work-life balance in the future? So I found it quite similar to my experience here in MCKL because as you're studying, you, you shouldn't forget to unwind and de-stress and always pursue your hobbies. I would say that definitely helped get me into the Monash Medicine program because in the future, when I become a successful doctor, I would like to have a stable work-life balance and I think that definitely helped me in that sense. Yeah, definitely a few. The most memorable one, memorable one that comes to mind is my biology teacher, Miss Lydia. And of course, Miss Mark too. We, I had two different biology teachers throughout my course. Both were very diligent and I really enjoyed their classes. They made it fun and they, they engaged with the students very well. But I think overall, in general, the teachers were very good because they were always willing to help me out during my times of need. And I remember when I first joined the MCKL A-level course, it was quite a jump from SPM. So I personally found it harder to cope at the beginning. So I used to meet up with my lecturers sometimes to inquire about certain topics that I couldn't keep up with in class and they were always willing to help me. So I think that definitely helped me achieve the goal I wanted to get my final result in AS and A2. I would say that you have to work hard. I think one of the reasons that I didn't achieve my actual target for A2 was because I had a difficult time maintaining balance between all the activities I was juggling in my studies. Time management is very, very important and I realise that now going into medicine, there are a lot of things I want to participate in but at the same time, I can't really afford to let the other suffer. So time management, uh, hard work definitely and always go the extra mile and don't be afraid to ask questions. It makes everything much easier and you won't regret it at the end of the day. And of course, enjoy your time here. Because I made a lot of good friends here with my classmates and my lecturers. And I think it's something that I will hold close to me forever. Lah.